Hello, and in today's video I want to talk about the iPhone 5. Now, I know I've already done a lot of coverage on this, but some new kind of, kind of rumours and speculation has come to light since the last um, set of videos that I did. It's, it's been speculated that as I, as I talked about in the iPhone 4 release cycle video, that there'll be, <coughs> there'll be no iPhone 5 released this year because it, it wouldn't be the same life cycle between AT&T and Verizon. No, I, I just want to give my thoughts on the issue. I think it will be on a year release cycle and we will indeed see the iPhone 5 in the June time frame. I, I double it WGC on on June 6th because it, it's it's been a year life cycle and Apple will have to deal with multiple, multiple carrier <coughs> relationships for many years in the UK and it's always been released at the same time so in short I think the iPhone 5 will, will continue on its year, year release cycle and indeed we will see an iPhone 5 this year um, because uh, even if there are problems with the year life cycle for Verizon, it, uh, and there's no iPhone 5 released, it um, will cause problems for the in international relationships because people will um, st start to resent the fact that, that there isn't a new iPhone released. Uh, on global, on global carriers, just because um, there are problems with working out the cycle between AT and T and Verizon. So to summarise my thoughts are that we will uh, see um, an iPhone five. I think it it won't be a major hardware upgrade as I talked about last year. Um, talked about a few videos ago, but more software upgrade and. Um, I think we'll see iOS 5 maybe uh, the the first generation dual core chip that's in the iPad and I think iOS 5 will um will be well optimized for that. But anyway I've got another video on that so um that's that. Anyway guys, do you think we'll see uh, an iPhone 5 this year or do you think the rumours are true though? We won't see an iPhone 5 till 2012. Technology, especially cell phones, moves on so quickly that I don't think the, the iPhone 4 could hold its own until 2012. I mean, think about it, you've got all these dual core phones coming out and you've got next year's CES between now and then. And I just don't think the, the iPhone's a great piece of hardware, but I don't think it could hold its own for all that time. So, you know, anyway guys, what do you, what do you think? Am I, am I way, way off base? Do you agree with me? You can um, visit my website down below um, there at tomdashriddle.com if you want more of my kind of thoughts on the early video I did on um, I was five on the iPhone five in terms of, again hardware release cycle before all these rumors came to light. You can click down below here for that as well. Um, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Leave your comments down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.